name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. Start following Jesus all the way, and your life will become an adventure. Frequently, I like to ask certain groups, I won't do it here, I like to ask the groups, are you bored with your life? <laughs> and then two-thirds of the hands might go up. I say, you're not following Jesus. It's very embarrassing, you know. If you're bored with your life, you're not following the plan. Amen? Amen. When you follow the Lord, every day is an adventure. Amen? Amen? And beginning tonight, your life, you might get a flat tire on the way home. <laughs> and if you do, you know what to do, right? <laughs> Praise the Lord and get the holy cards ready. <laughs> Amen? Amen? And so there's one prayer that we want to really um, learn today. We did it over the weekend, and I think you have a copy either of the card or the printout that will help you and I in this adventure. Yes, we have on both. So you may have, isn't she beautiful? That's called Mary, the Flame of Love. And it's from a, a visitation in Hungary, fully approved. On the back is that unity prayer. And I see that the wonderful office ladies also printed it on your handout. On the front of your handout, halfway down, the unity prayer. And I'm finding this to be like a necessary prayer. You know, the Lord, he has a way of giving us the gifts we need when we need them as a church. And I really call this, I call this an end times prayer. And some of you at one of my masses on Sunday, I don't usually preach the same homily, but I shared this story with one of the groups, how I did an exorcism in Georgia where a woman after mass in my chapel in Georgia began to manifest immediately after the closing blessing. She stood up and she began to manifest a demon. She was screaming and she was foaming at the mouth and her eyes rolled back in her head. So only all you could see was white. You couldn't see her pupils. It was a full blown manifestation of something demonic. She was visiting from another country. We get a lot of visitors at my chapel because we have a lot of miracles that people want a healing or a deliverance or maybe just joy. They just want to come for joy. So people come from everywhere. I didn't know her. She came in from another country manifesting. I didn't have time to call the bishop. So I told my team to circle around her, my exorcism team. And by the way, in my community, I have a homeschooling community. And you know, my, even my children are holy. They know this prayer by heart. Guess what? When that woman was manifesting, not one person was scared. Not even the children. Okay. Maybe that's my, another attack from the devil right there, huh? <laughs> Getting upset at me? This prayer is what saved her life. I couldn't call the bishop, so my team circled around. And I had them say this after me, line by line. And when they did, the most extraordinary thing occurred. And the beautiful thing about this is it was witnessed by 75 people. So it was a, I call that a public miracle. 75 people saw what happened. I have a small chapel. And so I can demonstrate to you just very, in a very small little way what occurred. We said this prayer line by line, circled around her as she's screaming and her arms are flailing. She's foaming. And this, all you can see is the white of her eyes. The demon was in full control at that moment. And we said this prayer. And this is what we saw happen, but I'm gonna make you wait for one minute. We're gonna say the prayer ourselves first, okay? Just say it now. And you can say it after me, line by line, okay? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Would you say this after me, beloved? This will protect us right now. It'll blind any demons that are trying to invade us right now. It'll blind them and paralyze them. 
My adorable Jesus, May our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. Amen. That's exactly what we said, just like that, back and forth. When we did, I just tried to demonstrate to you, but this is what all of us saw, a woman screaming and out of control, diabolically. <laughs> Completely set free. In about 60 seconds, that poor lady was set free from Lucifer. It usually takes hours to do an exorcism. It was as if our Lord and Savior was standing there, like in your Bible, when he would walk up the Lord, they would scream, out of her, and be gone. It was as if Jesus Christ, blessed be his name, was standing there next to me. Amen? Amen? Now, as if the Lord wanted to get it, the lesson across to me, I'm, I'm kind of hard-headed. Six months later, not even that long, the same exact thing happened in my chapel. I mean, it, identical. I was traveling, I came back, and we had a mass, the chapel was full, a woman near the front stood up from another country, began screaming the whole exact scenario. I had my team circle around her. They didn't need me to say another word. They knew just what to do. They circled around her. I said the prayer. Same exact thing. The woman put her hands together, stopped screaming, knelt down in front of me. It was kind of funny because at that point, her eyes were rolled back. She couldn't see me. In front of the priest is where she knelt, in front of the priest, not the other 12. Put her head down, and when she looked up, her eyes were back, and she was smiling. Just like that, our Savior released her. Now, John Paul said, Pope John Paul, before he died, that mankind is now engaged in the greatest battle between light and darkness since the fall of man. Those are profound words from a profound Pope, right? A saint with several doctorate degrees. What he says is meaningful, you see, is important. So I believe that what God has done is given to the Catholic Church, to his people, a weapon to protect you in this diabolical age. Amen? Amen? Now, I'm going to share with you something that I don't say to most groups. This is kind of a, a shocker. But I don't think you're going to be afraid. The Lord brought me one day, prophetically, in my spirit. To the Antichrist. So I won't go into any more details right now. I'm not allowed to. But I was brought to him. I mean like this, real. He looked at me, I looked at him. He's a world leader alive right now, God brought him, me to him mysteriously in his office. He didn't know how I got there, nor did I, by the way. <laughs> I was just as surprised as he was. He's looking at me and I'm looking at him. He's, and as he's looking at me and I'm watching him, two horns come out of his head. 
So I, I can't reveal his name right now, but you'll know soon enough. He looked at me and I looked at him, and he couldn't, he was con totally confused. He was like trying to figure me out, like, and he was like almost scared. He was trying to figure me out, and I just calmly stood there and looked at him. I wasn't afraid at all. Because St. Paul says in your Bible that the man of the flesh cannot understand the man of the spirit, but the man of the spirit can see through the man of the flesh. Amen? Amen. You know it's true, don't you? So it was an amazing experience, to be honest with you. The only reason I mention that to you is this. And the only reason is this. We are in the battle. It, you know it started, don't you? We're in the battle. It's huge. It's huge. And when little boys want to become little girls and little girls want to become little boys and mutilate their bodies, you know something perverse from hell is reigning. Amen? Amen. That's just the tip of the iceberg, what's really happening. Abortion is part of this. Abortion has been feeding this fire of the Antichrist all these years. The abortion is like a sacrifice to Satan. We are in the end times battle, but we don't believe it's the end of the world. If you read the saints carefully, they say it's not the end of the world, it's the end of this era. Something new is coming. The greatest triumph of the church and all of world history is coming. When the whole world will become Catholic, the entire world. And here's something that happened to me last year, just to give you some idea how great this is, what's about to happen, a great victory. And this prayer and the smaller one on the bottom will bring the victory about. That's what this is for. To blind him from touching you now until the victory comes, but also to blind him worldwide. So there's a second prayer on your card, you see, in bigger print. Would you say that at me right now? We'll discuss it in a minute. There's a smaller prayer underneath. Would you say this now, beloved? Oh, blessed lady, spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity. Let's say it one more time. Oh, blessed lady, spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity. That's the second prayer given by our Lord and Our Lady to the locutionist, Elizabeth Kindleman. She's gone to her reward. And Our Lady is asking us to put that phrase into our Hail Marys. So when you do that, you don't change your Hail Mary one word. But after the word sinners, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, then you pause for a split second and you add this phrase, you drop the first three words, oh blessed lady, you drop those, and you say the rest of it in your Hail Mary, then you finish the Hail Mary in the normal way, now and at the hour of our death. So in other words, you would say, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, spread the effect of grace, of thy flame of love, over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Now, the effect of grace, of the flame of love, will be, first of all, the great illumination of consciences, the great warning. That Faustina and several popes, by the way, and St. Edmund Campion, a whole plethora of saints have prophesied, we believe it's coming very soon. It almost has to. Amen? Amen. This prayer, the effect of grace of the flame of love, will be to bring that warning and blind Satan, Lucifer, worldwide. We just blinded him now from this hall. And you want to say the first prayer every day. I would certainly would recommend, beloved, several times a day. Morning, upon rising, lunchtime, afternoon, and evening minimum. To keep him blinded. Mama said, when you say this prayer, it has an imprimatur, by the way. It has seven imprimaturs. When you say this prayer, your whole family is protected with you. That's good for moms and dads to know. So when you say the prayer, it, co it covers your children as well. I would recommend, though, being in Seattle, and I do this all over the world, I would ask you to try this to say it twice in the morning, maybe twice whenever you can, once for your family and once for Seattle. Say it a second time for Seattle. God wants to save the people of this city. Amen. Amen? It will blind new age demons. It will blind the homosexual demons. 
It will blind the violence and corruption demons. It blinds and paralyzes all of them. Amen? Amen. It will keep your children and your city safe. So I'd recommend saying it twice. Now, the smaller prayer you say within your Hail Mary, especially when you're praying the rosary, to help bring about the worldwide blinding of Satan that's called the Great Warning. And you know, Christine Watkins wrote a book about that. You may have seen it. It's a marvelous book. It's just been re-released in the last month or two with five additional testimonies. It has the blessing of a great bishop. The book does itself. I would recommend you get a copy of the book to prepare yourself for what's coming. We are now, beloved, in the middle of a hellish time, are we not? Of a hellish time. It won't last forever. Satan will not win. He's going to lose, and God's going to win. And God has entrusted the victory to Mary. Amen? Amen.